Track five. Did you hear what happened at Heathrow yesterday with the A340 and the 747? Oh, where the Sri Lankan taxied into the BA. Yep, caused a few problems, but there wasn't too much damage, no injuries. I heard that a bunch of passengers refused to fly on the 340 today because the wingtip was missing. Hey? I thought it was the Sri Lankan Airbus's right leading edge that struck the winglet on the BA, not the other way around. That's right. The BA was stationary and the Sri Lankan was passing to the left. Mm. Couldn't the 340 fly easily without a wingtip? Yeah, I thought that was possible. Yes, it is, as far as I know. An A380 flew after one of its tips clipped the hangar gate at Bangkok, but they removed both wingtips and the aircraft flew OK. Uh, I'm not so sure. Are wingtips on the CDL? No, they're not. But I'm pretty sure that CDLs don't cover taking off equipment damaged in accidents. I wonder who was out of position yesterday. The taxi and parking lines are supposed to guarantee clearance. Not necessarily. They've recently repaved the holding point where it happened, and the airport documents say wingtip clearance not assured. Take care when passing. Yeah, at Seattle Tower once, a China Airlines A340 was taxiing into gate, and as it taxied on the taxiway centre line, the right winglet struck an American MD-80's horizontal stabiliser, oh. even though it was parked. And did it fly afterwards? Yeah, it left a few hours later, one winglet short. 